Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So gate exam is over and lot many students have qualified this exam. A big congratulations to everyone who has qualified this particular exam. Now many students who have qualified this exam and those who have not got good rank, uh, they don't know about it that what exactly they can do with it, right? Or what opportunities they have after qualifying gate exam. So there is very less information about it. So that's why I thought of making a video where I'm going to explain you that what are the opportunities that this gate exam is going to give you. What are the things, what are the uh, areas in which you can explore uh, with the help of this gate score or with the help of this gate rank. And there are certain things in which you don't need good rank also. Even if you have just qualified, if, if even if your rank is not that good, even it is in thousands, in that case also you will be eligible for those things, right? So I'm going to discuss that in detail in this particular video. So if you are new to this channel and if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do consider subscribing it. Now without any further delay, let's continue with our video. The first thing for which GATE makes you eligible about is PSUs, okay. PSUs are public sector undertakings. These are semi-government or private institutes or private uh, uh, like uh, companies which hire based upon your GATE score. So if I talk about chemistry point of view, so there are certain uh, like uh, PSUs like ONGC, IOCL. So these are certain institutes, these are certain companies, uh, these are certain PSUs basically which hire based upon gate score and uh, to get into it you have to qualify gate with a very good rank so uh, those who are under 100 or under 50 they are basically uh, they basically get call for an interview in these institutes again how much rank up to how much rank they are going to call that depends upon how much vacancies they have in that particular year in general they will call something around 70 or 80 rank top 70 80 ranks are uh, rank holders are uh, going to get call letter or interview call from these institutes. So you have to go through the interview based upon your gate rank, based upon your gate score, you will be asked, you will be called for interview. Now depending upon your interview performance, you will be selected. There are very limited seats in these PSUs and there are very few PSUs as I said, especially for chemistry. So that's why the competition is quite high. Only top rank holders and those who perform very good in the interviews, they get into it, right? So this is something which top rank holders or the best uh, ones who have qualified gate with very good score they are they become eligible for now the next thing which makes or which comes with gate is to get into iits isers nits and iasc so all these institutes all these institutes consider taking admission in phd program based upon your gate score so if you have got gate score uh, depending upon your rank depending upon how good or how bad your rank are depending upon that you will be given uh, like you will be called for interview in different iits different isers different nits then isc so all these institutes are there which take admission based upon gate score now if your rank is quite good you will be called in good iits like top iits if your rank is not that good if it is in some thousands in that case you will be called for an interview in some new iits but I have seen that even if you have just qualified this exam, you get call for interview in new IIT. So if you guys want, I can make a detailed video on this. I can discuss about that up to what rank, which institutes can call and up to what rank, which institute you can target upon uh, for uh, like for this particular uh, gate exam, right? So if you guys are interested enough, do let me know in the comment section. I'll try to make a video, a detailed video where I'll discuss uh, rate uh, rank wise that in which IIT or in which ISER or in which NIT and in which like either if IASC and all are going to call you or not okay again these things also depends upon how many vacancies they have how many seats they have in that particular year and also provided that either if you have net or not if you have LS that means along with gate if you have LS then chances of getting selection becomes much higher even if your rank is not that good in gate but if you have LS so combinedly it makes you eligible to go into good IIT right so I'll discuss that in a separate video. If you guys will let me know in the comment section, I'll make a dedicated separate video on that. All right. So this is the second thing. Okay. So you can go into IITs. You can do your PhD. Uh, the benefit of doing PhD from IIT is based upon gate score is that uh, you will get equivalent fellowship according to uh, what a JRF gets, what a CSIR JRF or what a, a DBT JRF gets. The same amount, the same fellowship you get uh, from IITs also. These, in, these fellowships are called institute fellowships which IITs give in their uh, IITs, ISER and IITs. These gives 
these give in their institute itself and uh, they are going to hire or they are going to select you based upon your gate score again you will be called for interview depending upon your interview performance you will be uh, finally selected or uh, rejected in that particular institute all right so this is the benefit of going into uh, iits and all with the help of gate score so that's the second thing which you can do with your gate score and this is something which anyone can explore uh, whatever your rank is whether it is good whether it is not good anyone can try for iits to take admission upon now as i said it depends upon your rank that which iit you will get whether you will get iit top iits like iit bombay or whether you will get newer iits like iit uh, roper or iit indore and all okay so that's about taking admission in phd the third thing for which gate makes you eligible about is doing mtech from iits so again mtech is something which some people do after msc they try to go for mtech uh, there are benefits of it and uh, like some people go for it just for the sake of that they will be getting a technical degree with the help of that they will try to go in some private sector afterwards so if you are someone who is planning to do mtech after msc in that case again gate is going to be very useful for you after qualifying from uh, the gate exam you can use the gate score you can use the gate marks whatever rank or whatever score you have got you can use that to get into some iits or you can use that to get into some uh, nits then again uh, like isers don't do uh, like they don't offer mtech but uh, iits and nits offer you mtech so you can go in that one more thing which you can explore with the help of your gate score is going into uh, some institutes which are uh, government funded institutes which are uh, like uh, autonomous institutes like barc is there uh, then isro is there drdo is there so these are the institutes which offer scientific positions like scientist positions so these positions are open based upon two uh, factors they take based upon gate score also and they conduct their own entrance exams also barc forms also like they af just after gate exam barc actually announces every year it announces its application process so you can apply for barc and there are two modes to get into it one is through your gate score and the second one is through the uh, entrance exam so again they also try to take the best out of the uh, students so the top uh, scorers the one who have got very good gate rank they are allowed or they are actually uh, called for the interview uh, in barc isr or drdo and all so you have to look upon these institutes then again like institute like dae department of atomic energy so all these institutes they basically uh, like hire scientist based upon how you have performed in the gate exam so gate exam it becomes very important exam altogether and it gives you a lot of opportunities either if you want to do job after msc or if you want to go for doing phd after msc uh, from some highly reputed institutes so these were certain things certain uh, like fields in which uh, according to me you have options to explore after qualifying gate exam there are many more other options also uh, like going in the private sectors with the gate score but over there gate score is not that much relevant uh, and also if you are planning to do a phd in abroad uh, and if you are planning to do uh, like research and phd from some uh, foreign institute there are also some institutes some supervisors they ask what is what was your gate score because they also know that in india uh, the national level exam is gate so they are they sometime they can ask that so uh, that is one thing again uh, where gate can help you so all in all gate is something which if you have qualified and if you have done it with good rank it is going to give you very lot of opportunities if you have just qualified it if you have not got good rank in that case also there are some options which are available for you so all in all it's a win win situation if you have qualified gate exam you can explore all these things which i have discussed in the video there may be other opportunities as well if you know any one of them do let me know in the comment section below i'll pin your comment if uh, your comment will be relevant enough and that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care Hey guys, Swan Academy has bought a very good opportunity, especially for those who are preparing for the upcoming CSI NET exam. That is June 2023, December 2022, which will be the combined exam, the next CSI NET exam, which will be in the month of June, right? Now, first of all, this offer is only valid for 16th and 17th of March. Now, what this offer is? So, if you take an Academy subscription, basically you get all the access for live classes, doubt sessions, mock test, solve previous year's question, detailed notes, all these things you get already, right? Along with that, if you take the subscription on 16th or 17th of March uh, for three months, that is uh, for the upcoming CSI NET exam, it will cost you around 6,988 rupees. But if you qualify JRF in the upcoming CSI NET exam, then all your application fees will be refunded.
so this is a limited time opportunity a very good opportunity for those who are serious for their preparation and who want to take an academy subscription this is the time when you can take the subscription you can uh, take all the benefit of the subscription and once you qualify jrf you will get all the money back right all your application fees will be refunded to you so if you are interested enough join an academy you can use my referral code while joining it that is an underscore huda you will get an additional discount on uh, the subscription right so that's it uh, see you in the next one